Good morning. Sunday 8th of April 2018. We're at Foxborough Quarry, Civil Headingham, Essex. Red. Venue's been moved from Chapel because that's waterlogged. It's quite muddy here. And this is round one of the Dave Berkshire Motorcycles two-man Enduro Championship. And there's Mr. John Hart walking across there. And we're about... And look at that, we've got him. You know who he is, that well-known photographer. No, just one of them, not two of them. Unless you've been drinking. We're about to start the riders' meeting. I've been here since 7 o'clock this morning. I only got out about half past eight. First of all, the two-man championship will have a, a sixth of a penalty, a sixth of a lap penalty per minute late. Um, your time cards, you've got a start time on there. We'll start you off here. Clock's there. So at your allotted start time, I think it's four, four on a minute. Start from here. Um, go around, do your first lap. A third of the lap round, there's an easy hard option. You'll just see a post with two orange arrows. So you can go the long loop round, or you can go down a ditch. It's not too bad at the moment, might cut up later. Carry on round. When you get to here, the yellow flags are the same as usual. You'll wait behind them, and there's a clock over there. You look for your time. Obviously, if you want to come in on time, check the time. When it is your minute, you come past the yellow flags, you risk past the transport, the receivers, and then carry on. Oh, sorry. Obviously, if it's the end of your half-hour session, you then come in, change as you normally would. Um, Half-hour is the sort of the time to fit all your laps in. Uh, it's up to you whether you go for your extra lap or not, really. Um, we're doing a lunch break. Just 10 minutes. It's literally the last okay. ride is in. If you look at your start time, your, your first ride we went out this morning, so we'll go, first one will go away again at 12 o'clock, and then... The rest of you will go after that and your first lap in the afternoon will be your special test. So we're having to stop it because the way the timing system works, so it has to stop. Ten minutes. So a ten minute stop. So it's not really a lunch break to get all your kit off and go and chill out in your van. Going in the same direction. And good. we're going in the same direction, yeah. That's it. Um, <coughs> obviously a walking pace area in the pits, you change over here. Um, at the end of the adult race. Uh, within half an hour we're going to start a youth race, so anyone that can help with the marshalling would be greatly appreciated. That's going to go for an hour, it's a hare and hound. It'll have a short course, it just won't go over in the far field. So they'll just cut across here, so they'll do all this section around here. But we do need help with the marshalling. Anyone got any questions about the timing? Sorry? Well, only from your last ride that's going out. Some of them come, some of them go until it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> So warming up is about three minutes to go before the start. In the distance there, I can zoom in. There he is, right? Roper. He's first out of the way, he just moves out the way, there he is. 15 year old Jake Roper. How is he going to do this? That's a good interview, isn't it? That's a lot of What do you reckon, Mum? We're under a minute to go. The bikes are silent. About 30 seconds. 
dead end in the start. We're coming out to 15 seconds. And we're about to start round one. Dave Fox here, two man enduro championship, 2018. And we should be off. But now, here we go. They're off. Three went there. Got six, seven, and eight. And they'll be off very shortly. Or a minute. Thirty-five seconds to go, thirty seconds to go now. Five seconds. We well, see these ones off. And the way they go now, and they're off. In the distance, there's come the first, the leader. I'm trying to work out his number. Keep it down. About six minutes to do a lap. And it's spitting again. It was drizzling quite heavily when I left home this morning. I just wondered if we'd do it. He went through the water splash. Through the water splash. I think it's straight. I think he's coming round to complete a lap. I'm not we should see. It might go elsewhere. They're out of sight there. I get this one. He's here somewhere. There he is. That's kind of a exciting lap. This is up over. I'm trying to stand properly in the film. The water splash in the moment. Outside, up and round, over. I can't see who it is. It's got glasses, but there. It's a rider. And you hear the noise behind me as, as more have just started. So a bit late, number two has just come through. 103 has just come through. That's probably the transponder. That's caught me out. 104, where you can see the number. I think that's probably Chris Wright. God, I've got splattered with mud. I've just cleaned up a bit. I help my young assistant here, young Trudy. But number 44, he's waving, he knows I'm filming. Joe Phillips is his second adult event. He's 16 now, he, he can ride in all adult events. Last time he rode, in the last round last year, he was ninth, he got seven points. Right in his right big and he's away. He got, he got filled in there a bit. He'll, he'll learn, he'll learn. Number seven, finishing another lap. One of the Clemson Racing Team members. All sponsored there by Paul Ranson, who used to ride. He helps him out a lot. Number 32. 
I get those two stocking, but I didn't, did I? Yeah. 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 Another 33's come in. That Rod Blackman looks like he should know how to work this work. He's through. Yeah. Get his gear. Another 30's through now. He's got 549 on his back. That's their motocross man. Number nine. I have to look at the screen. Did that number come up? Another four has just started. And here comes someone on a leisurely afternoon trip, I think. He's probably doing his sighting now. Number 31. He's going a bit mad, you can still see his number come up, but it has now. That's the trouble, they panic. Number 35, can we see if the number comes up? Yeah. He's away, look at that. They do it right, it works perfect. Perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. This is 34, you can see. Will his number come up? Will his number come up? Yes, it does. Look at that. And now he's got a mix of the loads coming out. That is just one of the hazards of the system. Not a hazard, really, is it? Common sense. We're still in quite a bit. It's 39 comes in. Completes a lap. just over 15 minutes, so we have a change run soon. We've got quite a few here. I don't know where to film actually. I can't walk very well. I just jolt at my knee, the bad knee, but I think it might jolt it back into place. They're adapting to the conditions now. I don't know, he didn't look very good. like Jamie Roper, 106 there, so... Hey. Did he go out first? No. That's something to change. Anyway, Jamie's his first ride since last April. Nice to see them all bunched up. I, I can get a few people. It's spitting with rain again. That part is the rich squirrel section, I call. Remember Richard from last year's Indirathon? Wow. He duly obliged me with falling off. Super veteran rich squirrel, thank you. Over there is the bike that Rod, Rob Flatman is riding. It's just packed up. Let's see what they can do with it. That's a shame, he's only done a few laps. Send out his partner to continue for him. But his partner's a few years older than he is. He's dad. But then dad would show how it's done. Very slippery there. I will zoom in as much as I can. Of course, there's no riders now. There's one coming through in the pink. 
We see him in the moment. Nice to see a lot of them there together. To make it interesting. One's just turned up, another one's just turned up. One's waiting there, was he? He's waiting for his time up. There we go. Exuberant of youth. Well, I can say the word. Because we have some 15 year olds and 16 year olds riding here. And they are just keen to ride in the adult events. They've done well in the youth section. And I've got Dr. Belton up there, and that could be Paul Belton, who's not riding um, today with Phil Roper because he's riding with his 15 year old son Jake. Number nine is just coming through. Is that Rob? Rob Aldridge? I'm not sure. But I think as a, a Team Ransom man, by the outfit, 47 is coming through. I think it's mud in the eye. It's mud in the eye. Oh, he's struggling up there. He's struggling. Hey, missed that. He had a rear wheel slide there, but he held on to it. He opened the throttle and off he went. It served him right. He probably faster with the mud earlier on. The mud has tiger feet. Come on, get in. There he goes. They've got to pick the line, let's see.